Good morning. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Uh, today, inshallah, let's start our session. Welcome, all of you. Uh, we are waiting uh, minutes to complete uh, our uh, class or our uh, number of colleagues. Are you ready today? Yeah. You, do, do you answer the weekend sheet? Not yet. Not yet. You are going to answer uh, <coughs> it with uh, us in the session now? Okay. Yes. Together, inshallah, we are going to uh, solve this uh, weekend sheet. It's a revision. Uh, for lesson one uh, B, uh, you can think uh, as the sheet uh, is on your screens now. Please think answering the question till we start. As we all agree, if you want to answer, please raise your hand. Ahmed Sharif, I hope you solved the problem with your uh, mic. I hope so. That was good. That was good or not? Uh, are you Ahmed Sharif? Yeah. Now today it's good. Thank you. Yes, yeah. Amir. I want to answer. Want to answer what? Wait, Amir. Bilal, Bilal. Bilal, you are uh, the. <laughs> These squares are you these squares? Change your name, please, Blad. Hell, change the name. Oh. Yes. Yes, let's start. Let's start. Uh, I think uh, that's enough waiting. And uh, the number is still the same. Uh, they are who want to attend the session. Uh, question number one. Which color? Which color? Yes, Amir, what do you want to say? Um, uh, which color? Number one will be student. You want to answer, yes. Uh, which color means morning in Mexico? It's, orange. It's what? Orange. Orange? Blue, blue, blue. Please, Blel, Blel, if you want to answer, raise your hand. Please, Blel. Don't interrupt your friends. Uh, Amir, uh, in lesson uh, uh, 1B, we learned that, that um, the blue color is uh, in Mexico means that uh, morning. Yes? Yes. Is it clear? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Let's move to number two. Number two. In number two, we have space is the ability to make good decision, decisions uh, based on experience. You have to have experience to make good decisions. This definition is a uh, definition for what? If you want to answer, please, please raise your hand. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm waiting the rest of you to raise their hands because Blal, Ahmed Sharif, Muaz, yes, Muaz. And uh, Again, think. Knowledge. Think again. Uh. Knowledge is uh, isn't the ability to make uh, good decisions. It's uh, guesser. Um, uh, wisdom. Wisdom. Thank you. Uh, number three, orange means space in Japan. Uh, in Japan, orange have two meanings. Have two meanings. Um, Ahmed Sharif, yes, you can. Power. Sorry, power? Yeah. No, it's not power. Number B. B. Number oh, B. Answer. Number B. Who are you, Blel? I know you, Blel. Yes, Blel. Reason? No, orange in Japan. I think uh, you don't study the lesson. And it's very important. You have to, know? to study it and uh, memorize the important vocabulary. Uh, in love, Japan, love, in, love. Yes, love. Who said love? Zain. Who? Zain, Zain. Zain, excellent Zain. Uh, in Japan, uh, orange means love and happiness. Love and happiness. Thank you. Uh, Sulaf, can you answer number four? Mister. Yes. Basin Nafsan Tarif bit alaf. Hiya hiya. How come? No, passion is um, uh, bigger than love. Love is a very simple thing inside passion. Passion, it may be sad, sadness, something like that. All of these patients. Anger, this is patience. Yes? Yes. Uh, in Eastern cultures, red means what? Sulab. In Eastern cultures, red means what? Yes, you can, Sulav. If you want. Um, yeah. uh, I think she answered the chat. Yes, yes. Uh, she answered yeah. D. Yeah, excellent, Sulav. That's right. Uh, A and C. In Eastern cultures, red means. Uh, prosperity and the carriage, both are right. Thank you, Sulab. Let's move to number five. People wear blue in Mexico acts. They wear uh, blue in Mexico acts. What is me? If, if, if you want to answer, don't say me, don't say anything. Please raise your hands. I see all of you. Ahmed Sharif, yes, you can. At the Easter. At Easter. Sorry. No, me. Mister. Yes, Blel. Wedding. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, at the funerals. Funerals. Yes, funerals. Uh, that's right. At funerals. And that's right. D. Uh, let's move to number six. Space is when things go well without planning them. Without planning. Muhannad? We have Muhannad. Mister? Yes. Oh, Mister. Okay. Mister? Yes, Muhannad, Muhannad. I'm Zain, Mister, but it's Zain, yes. The, you, oh. can, you can change um, your name, please. Oh, if, okay. if you can, yes. Uh, luck, luck, luck. It's luck. Excellent. That's right. And uh, we have more than one. Uh, Sarah, Maya. They answered it on the um, chat box. Thank you. Uh, let's move to number seven. Space is a feeling of wanting what someone else has. Anna. I didn't want to say, to listen to these words, please. 
If you want to answer, raise your hand. Just raise your hand. Can I answer? Where Where are the rest? Where Can are I the rest? Too? Where are the rest of the class? We have Iyad, we have Basmala. No, they aren't sleeping. They are with us in the session. Where are yes, sir. Yes, Abdurrahman Khalid, can you? Yes. Abdurrahman Khalid. Yes, sir. Thank you, Sara. Thank you, Noor. Thank you, Asir. Abdurrahman Khalid, can you say the answer? Yes. yes. Envy. Where is Abdurrahman? Uh, envy, envy. Envy, thank you. Excellent, that's right. Uh, let's move to number eight. Number eight. With a minute to scroll the uh, screen. Yes. Uh, Mr. Uh, in India, in India, uh, space symbolizes wisdom. Amir, yes, you can. In India, uh, red symbolizes wisdom. Red? Yeah. In India, red. Yeah, yellow, sir. Red or yellow? Yellow. Yes. Uh, that's right. It's yellow. In India, yellow symbolizes wisdom. Excellent. Um, number uh, nine. The Anna. Without Anna, you blame. Please, blame. Please, blame. Uh, number nine. Number nine. The environmentalists' movement uses space as their symbol. Uh, thank you, Noor. Thank you, Aser. Thank you, Sara. Thank you, uh, Blel. You answered on the uh, chat box. I need uh, who raises his I... hand to listen to Sir, I know. Zane? Yes, Zane. Me. Yes, me. Zane. Okay, Zane. Yes, sir. Me. Okay. Uh, uh, I know. Orange. Orange. Green. That's right. Green. Green. That's right. Green. How, how come orange? Uh, the last one. Sir, yes. Please, Blail. Please, Blail. It's not a race. Blail. Give your uh, colleagues a chance to think and answer as you know the answer. Please, Blail. Uh, the last question. The ability to face dangerous situations without being afraid is Muaz? Orange. Sorry? Carriage. Carriage. Uh, carriage. Carriage. Yes, carriage. Uh, carriage, that's right. Uh, we have uh, a very exciting exercise uh, in grammar. Uh, this exercise is uh, extracting the mistake and correct it. We have some mistakes in the uh, sentences. We have one mistake in grammar, and I need you to find it and extract it. Then correct the mistake. Find the mistakes in each of the following sentences, then write them correctly. Number one, the Aswan High Dam generates hydroelectric power. Yes, Bilal, you can answer number one. <coughs> Bilal? Uh, generates. Generates, that's right. Excellent. Thank you very much. Number two, he usually drink a cup of coffee after lunch. Excellent, Asir and the Gasser, you answered it well. Thank you. Drink, yes, sir, I drink. Please, who are you? Yed. Yed? Yes. Yes, Yed. Uh, uh, number two, he usually drinks. Excellent, mm -hmm. that's right. Number three. Number one. Number one generates. 
the verb generate uh, must ends in s. The aswan haidam. Uh, number two. Generates. Number, two. number two. Number two, he usually drinks a cup of tea, uh, a cup of coffee after lunch. Let's move to number three. Mother always is after me to do my homework. Yes, Esther answers it, and I'm going to tell you the yeah. answer. It will be is always, not always is. Excellent answer. Thank you very much. Mister. Yes. Mister. What? Blail, Bimel is family, Harful A. Blail, please uh, stop playing. Attention with the session, Blail, please. Blail, we, no. we are in a session. The eight yet, men, let's choose number ten. The Amelam in Badri Hadrak will tell you how to do it. Thank you. Thank you. Let's move to number four. Let's move to number four. Be attention and uh, uh, be serious in the session. Number four. My mother is cooked at the moment. My mother I is number three. My mother is cooking. Again, number three. We answered the number three. Again, number three. Number three. Can I sit? Can I sit? Wait, number three again. Your colleague uh, wants it. Uh, mother always is after me. This is a sentence. The right answer will be mother is always, not always is, is always after me. This yeah. is the right answer. Number four, number four, must, my mother is cooked. At the moment, Ahmed Sharif. Yes, cooking. Uh, you have to uh, change cooked by cooking. Excellent. Thank you very much. To cook. Cooking. Number four is cooking. That's right. Uh, Abdurrahman, please stop talking with Amir. Uh, because he want to concentrate. Abdurrahman, please stop talking with Amir. Please. Now let's move to number five. Number five is depending on the uh, usage, the usage of the um, present symbol. The usage of the present symbol. Uh, we have water is boiling at 100 uh, degrees. It must be what? Uh, I know the answer. Yes, Abdurrahman. Abdurrahman. Boils. Abdurrahman. Boils. Yes, that's right. Water boils at 100 uh, Silesia. That's right. Thank you. Uh, number six. People is a speak in America. People is a speak uh, in America. I think uh, the sentence... Uh, uh, isn't completed. It must be. Uh, is a speaks English in America. Yes. Uh, can you answer, uh, please, Bilal? Are speaking. Uh, people are speaking English in America. Or it's a fact. So it must be. Yes, Emir. People speaks uh, English in America. Bibul Amir is plural noun, and with plural nouns, we don't put s at the end of the verb. So, the answer is people speak in. Uh, the, speak the English. Please, Blal, don't speak without permission, Blal. Don't worry. Uh, can you tell me the answer, Ed? Speak, I don't speak. Uh, no, people, people speak. English in America. That's right. Uh, number uh, eight, sorry, number seven. Listen, someone plays the music. Someone plays I know the, the music. Uh, I know. We have 
احمد شريف يس اي نو سانس احمد شريف بليز اوكي Listen, someone play the music. Uh, is playing. Is playing. Thank you very much. That's right. Uh, number eight. Number eight. We rarely visit this place in summer. We rarely visit this place in summer. Uh, can you see? Okay. Uh, visit. Uh, because we is the subject of the sentence, we have to rem to remove the s at the end of the verb, so it will be a visit. Thank you. Mister. Number nine. Mister. Yes. Can you repeat number seven? Number seven again. No eight. Play. Number seven and eight. It's I'm playing. going to repeat them. Number seven. Listen, someone is playing the music. Someone is a singular uh, pronoun, uh, although it means uh, uh, you may be confused for you, but it's for uh, singular, not for plural. Uh, listen, someone is playing the music. Number eight, we said, because we, is the subject of the sentence. We have to remove the S from the end of the verb visits. It will be visit. Uh, number nine, in summer, Dahlia uh, usually play tennis once or twice a week. I know that. Yes, Asir. I know that. Asir. If you know the answer, please raise your hand. Just raise your hand. Uh, play uh, will be changed into plays. Excellent answer. That's right. Dahlia is a singular noun, so we have to put S at the end of the verb play. So Dahlia usually plays tennis. Excellent. Number 10. The carpenter mends three chairs now. Uh, Gesser. Uh, is mending. The carpenter is mending, that's right, because uh, now is a time expression for the present continuous, and we have to uh, change the verb mend. Yes. Number nine. Yes. We are in number, uh, carpenter. number 10. Carpenter is, uh, if you... Please wait, Ahmed Sharif. Wait. Yes. What do you want? We are in number. Yes. We are in number 10 in the uh, find and correct the mistakes. We are in number 10. We said that the carpenter are mending three chairs. Ahmed asks, what uh, does carpenter mean? Carpenter is the person who works with wood to make furniture. You know who is the carpenter? Yes, thank you, Ahmed. Uh, now let's move to number 11. Number 11. Um, every morning, the sun was shining in my room window and wakes me up. Mister, mister. Without mister, without mister, please, without mister. I see you and know all of you. Yes, Iyad. Mr. Shining at the point. Again? Shining at the point. Shining changes Shining. into shine. Shines, yes? Yes. What about was? <laughs> yes. So, was shining, was shining, all of it, have to change into shines. Because it's a scientific fact, or it's a fact that um, uh, the uh, sun shines in my room, it's a fact. So it uh, will be present symbol, not past continuous. Uh, the last uh, sentence, Joan is thinking that Tom is a good doctor. 
يس بلان نمبر 11 اجين نمبر 11 شاينز 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 نمبر 11 ويل بي شاينز because it's a fact every morning the sun shines yes uh, that's right sara excellent uh, thank you noor no it's not is shining but it shines um, and thank you all of you who answers in the chat box <coughs> now let's move to number 12 John is thinking that Tommy is a good doctor. Mark answered, yes, it's uh, thinks, thinks, because, because it's uh, uh, a state of verb, think is a state of verb. And Number 12, Mr. Sorry? Number 12, thinks, thinks. Thinks. Number 12. Yes, thinks. Uh, now, please read the uh, comprehension to answer the questions together as you don't answer them or you don't have time to answer them. Uh, please read the text uh, from the screen or from your uh, weekend sheet. I'm going to give you uh, three minutes. Mister? Yes. Right. Oh, did she damage the first novel? Sorry, again? Did she cheat in my first novel? King Lear. Yes, uh, inshallah, the next uh, sheet, inshallah, I'm going to put uh, drama. Hello. Do you finish reading? No. Take your time. Mm. Mr. Rafat. Yes. هي كلمة almost دي يجب عليها ايه i n g كده which word almost almost where is almost the third line in the third line almost everything uh, it followed by a sentence okay are you ready to answer the questions yeah. all of you are you ready yeah let's start question number one 
in question number one, uh, how could computers help students become more successful? Yes. Who is ready to answer? Blaine. Mister, I know. Please don't tell me you know because I know when you raise your hand. Zin? Uh, yes, sir. I know. Uh, I don't know number one. I know number two. Sorry? Uh, I know number two. Number one, no. You don't know the first question? No, I know number two. Yes, Second thank you. Place. Ahmed Sharif, can you answer number one? Okay. Depending on computer technology continues to grow every day. Line, uh, Ahmed, the line. How could computers help students become more successful? More successful. Amir, you can. They will help students to get better grades than those who learn without having had any computer experience. I know. Sorry, which line? Which line in, uh, the, in the text? Number four, uh, line number three in the last paragraph. In the last paragraph? Which line from the last paragraph? Number three. Again? Number three. Number three, last, get paragraph. last paragraph that starts with few people. Yes, which uh, line? Uh, number four, 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 four line. Uh, setting will get better grades than those, those who learn without, without having <laughs> that. Thank you, that's right. Excellent, Amir. Thank you. Excellent, Amir. Master, I didn't uh, know the answer. Yes, the answer is in the third paragraph. The third paragraph. The third paragraph, the second line. At the end of the second line, sitting, sitting will get better grades than those who learn without having had any computer experience. Or you can answer from your own words. If you have uh, information about how computers help students become more successful, you can answer from your own. Yes, is it clear? Sir, number two. Yeah. Uh, number two. Give an example from the passage. This question is from the passage. That shows that computers have been widely used in secondary uh, education. Yes. Uh, who's in? Okay, Mister. Uh, in uh, line uh, in uh, paragraph two, uh, line two. Uh, uh, the, second, the, the second paragraph, the second line. Yes. In the USA between 1984 and 1997, uh, alone the number of computers in second. Secondary schools increased to more than uh, it's 10 million, not zero million. 10 million units. 10 million units. Thank you, that's right. Thank you very Mr. much. Which line? Uh, what? Which line can I find the answer? Uh, the answer is in the second paragraph. Second paragraph. Yeah, Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes, yes, Ali. The answer is again, number two. Uh, the answer, uh, question number two again. Second paragraph, second paragraph, second, second line. Paragraph. Second paragraph, second line. Classroom and right. In the USA, in the USA. Uh, okay. Be between 1984 and 1997 alone, the number of computers in secondary schools increased to more than 10 million. 10 million. 
you have to put one because it's not zero it's not zero million yes okay mr thank you uh let's move to question number uh three give <coughs> give some examples of everyday uses of computers in our lives i think it's so easy and so clear so easy and so clear uh, mr study wait Please. wait wait give them minutes to think and answer and read the text again okay original bilal original yes original um, bilal. don't answer i read the name i just read the name no 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 don't answer wait let them think I need okay. more than one who would uh, know the answer. Not only uh, two, three, or so on. Mr. Okay. I know. Yes, raise your hand. If you know, raise your hand. Just raise your hand. Yes. I read. Wait. Paragraph. Wait. Paragraph one for line. Wait. Sir? I don't need to answer. listen to the answer. Can I answer? I raised my hand. I know and I see it. Can? No. Why? Without why. Uh, original Blail can answer. Yes. Why? Yes, original Blail. He don't know. Uh, Hannah, Nabil, uh, we are in uh, the weekend sheet. Weekend sheet. On the. Mister, can I answer? Comprehension. Can I answer? Bilal, if you don't want to answer, we can choose another one. Mister, I want to answer. Can I answer? Bilal, if you don't want to answer, we can choose another one. Ali. Ali. Yes, Ali. No. El Basin is studying in the classroom, playing games. Can I? Uh, Ali. Mr. Hello. Hello. Yes, Ahmed Sharif. Hello. Mr. I want to answer. Paragraph number one, one number three, and uh, four. Comprehension number uh, one, sorry, uh, paragraph number one. Uh, paragraph uh, number one, line number three, and four. The third and the fourth line. In shopping, yeah. in shopping, driving our car, or communicating with relatives and the colleagues. Who is speaking now? Again, please. please. Who is speaking uh, now? Can... I hear voice. <laughs> Please concentrate, all of us. Uh, number four. That's correct. In your opinion, in your opinion. Mr. Basri, uh, then the please again. We uh, we finish uh, answering uh, question number three. Paragraph again, please. Again, uh, paragraph number one, third and the fourth line. As no right, as no wrote. Thank you, Runo. I said it. No, I said it. Yes, I know, Ahmed. You uh, tell us the answer. Thank you. In the first paragraph, the uh, line number three and number four. Uh, in shopping, driving our car, or communicating with relatives and colleagues. Now let's move to uh, question number four. In your opinion, it's from your opinion, uh, what are the possible disadvantages of using computers in education? 
What? Mister, في حد عنده صدى صوت. Mister, can I answer? Yes, I hear that. And I hear another voice that uh, I think it's another session at the same time. Please. Uh, Mister, can I answer? Mister, do you know? I need, uh, in your opinion, question number four. So Mister. Can we leave it? Leave what? Number four, that's our opinion. Yes, you can answer. Tell me your opinion. What are the possible disadvantages of using computers in education? Yes, I know. Bilal. Bilal. Listen to Bilal mm. Ahmed. It makes the family what? No. Please write, write your answer, Blail, to tell me a correct answer. Yani. Blail, uh, please write your answer, and I'm going to listen to you again. Let's listen to Amir. Amir. No. Maybe uh, uh, the, the advantage maybe can be that when the student had the computers, can do, can have them. Maybe I don't know. Thirty for study time. What? Let's read what 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 margin. Let's read. Please listen to me. Listen to me. Let's read. Hello. Listen to me. Let's read Mister. what Mark and Iyad wrote on the uh, chat box. Mark yes, yes, I know, but I need, it to, I need to listen. I think that it sometimes makes, makes people away from each other. Thank you. Iyad wrote the same answer. And you copy paste and the answer, Blel, is the only idea of disadvantage of computer. I don't answer, <laughs> understand. You copy and paste the answer. Mr. Can, can you say the answer again? I need to hear from you. Then I'm going to tell you what is uh, from my own uh, opinion. I just see your it opinion. As, right? Yes, listen, opinion. listen. It keeps us distance people away from each other. Thank you. In another way. Thank you. What else? It makes your brain. Uh, it may, it may, when you study through a computer, it may waste your time. It may waste your time. You may uh, uh, leave studying and play games on the computer or watch a movie, something like that. This is the uh, disadvantages of using the computer in a study or in education. Uh, as you said, it keeps uh, a distance uh, people away from each other. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's move to question number five. Question number five. Teachers are expected to teach students how to use computers, although I need you to choose an answer. They are still learning how to use computers. Number yes. B, number B. I see most of you uh, write B. Yeah, it's B. What about D? No, B. C, 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 No, what about D? What about D? What about D? Read D and wait and don't say no. you are not forced. No, they are not forced. Ahmed, Ahmed. Please. Please, 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 what's your problem with it's this? It's not there. Yes, listen, listen, listen to me, listen to me. 
look at the uh, comprehension and look at the um, question. I need to know, teachers are expected to teach students how to use computers, although, although they are still learning how to use computers or they are forced to use computers. From the text. I know, I raised my hand. Yes, Ahmed. Number B. B, you are sure it's B? B. Uh, who, yeah. tell, who tell me it's uh, a D? Can you tell us why? Or from Number the text? D. From the text, can you tell us from the text? Number A. No. Mark is spamming letter B. Yes, I see. Uh, I see Ahmed. I see G? the chatting box. Yes. G. Uh, who it's said B. D? Can you tell me uh, your uh, reasons for uh, answering D? Because all of I mean, because all. Mister. Yes. Because all the people want computers in their house to learn on it and play games and and on it. Mister. So, yes, Emir. The paragraph you can find it in the second paragraph. Sure. Uh, next, uh, the last line. They are expected to teach students about computer how. Now how. Look, 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 look at, look at. The, they, they themselves are still uh, uh, trying to learn the most basic uh, of uh, computer skills. Look at, sorry, look at the uh, second paragraph. Look at the second paragraph, uh, the fourth line. The fourth line. After the full stop. Both, both of educators and students alike have been forced have oh. forest to keep up with the, this new wave of technology so the answer will be d thank you let's move to number 6 let's move to number 6 the answer is mr shan sout ma kanch wadah d okay a uh, few people would question the role that computers could play. It means what? I don't know. Read the choices and you may know the answer. A. A. No. B. C. B. B. D. B. C. B. C. C. B. C. C. A, B, C, D. C. We aren't, we aren't uh, jogging the uh, name. C. B. The right answer will be C. B. C. My. I want to see. I want to see. Uh, don't say an old. Please listen and uh, understand the answer. Uh, again, few people would question the role that computers could play. It means not many people doubt the importance of computers. And at the same time, few means not many. Few means not many. Is it right? Is it right? Yes. Now let's move to the last question. Hello. The last question. Uh, D. Uh, the expression keep up with means D. 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 Do you have any other uh, answer? Do you have another D. answer? D or D. C, C. C or D. No, D. it's it's D. It's D. 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 Continue to learn. Continue D. to learn. Uh, uh, now, quickly, we have time to uh, look at the uh, booklet. We have uh, exercise. 
Mr. The last answer what? Uh, the last answer will be D. The last answer will be D. H. Look at the booklet on page 11. On page 11. Quickly look at uh, your booklet, page 11. Uh, I'm going to uh, close the chat yeah. box if you don't stop playing. Please be attention and be uh, elder than that. And uh, uh, please benefit from the session. Who? The big cam. I said 11. I said 11. <laughs> yes, we are going to check your answers. Are you ready? Mr. Did you even listen to go? Yes, I know. I know. I know it's answer. We so let's, uh, let's check it. let's check your answers. Number one. Who, who? Is, uh, eleven. Bej uh, eleven and the twelve. Twelve. Yes, eleven and the twelve. Number one. Number one. I said mark page 11. I said page 11. Please, if you don't, if you don't use the chat box correctly, I'm going to close the chat. I'm going to close it. Yes, write your answer only one time. Uh, number one. Number one, we have Sarah answered it as A, our uh, training, uh, our swimming training, that's right. Our swimming training. Uh, let's move to... Mr. Can I answer number two? Let's move to number two. Number two. Yes. Can I answer? Yes, sir. Who are you? Az D. Az, yes, Az. Hey, Mr. It's number C. Number two is C. Contestant. Contestant, that's right. Uh, number four, uh, sorry, number three. Uh, number three. Bilal? Three, um... Researcher. Bilal. Mentor. Number three, Bilal. Researcher. Uh, researcher. Researcher, how come? Don't how know. Come? He still should we have thing. to follow our researcher as he's an expert. Mr. I, I know the answer. Know the Athlete? Mentor. Mentor. It's a mentor. That's right. It's a mentor. Zay. Mentor yes, is the uh, person who advise you. Yes, yes, he is an expert about cars. Who is a researcher of cars? Who research about cars? Sorry, I'm going to close the chat. Because you are using it so badly. Uh, now let's move to number four. Number four, the space day, Abdurrahman. The number of times helps in uh, involved is uh, outnumbered. Abdurrahman, 
Anthropologist. Anthropologist. Thank, thank you. That's right. Uh, number five. Number five. What about number five? Mister number four. What? Anthropologist. Anthropologist. Number five. Who is ready to answer, Ali? Hello. Anthropology. Anthropology. That's right. Number five. Anthrobiology, C. Uh, number six. Number six. Acer. Acer. Number six, C. Uh, number six, uh, C. That's right. Redden. That's right. Excellent. Thank you very much. C, number seven. Uh, number seven. Number seven. Yeah. Ahmed Sharif. Number seven. Fail. Ahmed number Sharif. Number seven. One she know her mention there. Fail. Steve. What? Fail. 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 C. Yeah. Thank you, that's right. Uh, number eight. Number eight. Number seven, A. 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 Number eight. Eight. A. Eight. Let's move to eight. A. B. A. Eight. Match it. We are. Don't answer without permission, please. Uh, who said match it? Me, Muhammad, don't answer without permission. Please Blanca. stop that from uh, home or uh, from school. Please, Muhammad, if you want to answer, raise your hand. And I'm going to tell you to answer. That's right. Match up. Excellent. Raise your hand, Muhammad. Stop talking, Ahmed. Uh, what about number um, nine? Number nine. Uh, number nine. Uh, let's look at. I know the answer. Bilal? No, I know the answer. Uh, open. Bilal, number nine. Open. Or opponent. 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 That's right. The last one. Number ten. Object. Number 10. Amir? Yes, yes Amir. The, the last one, number 10. B. It will be 10B. Competitor number 9 is what? Yes. Competitor, but... that's right. Competitor, that's right. And uh, now let's use these words uh, in the suitable sentences. Use these words in the suitable sentences. What? Uh, number 10. Number 10, we said competitor. Competitor. Mohammed Gaber, answer number one. Competitor. The, the famous professor was his space during his years in graduate school. Uh, Sorry? Colleague. What? Please stop talking. Ahsan, colleague, the tour alay jasa shu maoud. Muhammad Gaber, Muhammad Gaber, don't listen to any uh, silly boy. Concentrate and answer. Mentor. Sorry, sorry, athlete, athlete. Number one is mentor. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, number two. He is a or an Mr. number one a mentor. Mentor. Athlete. Number two. Athlete. Athlete. Uh, who wants to answer? Yes, Gasser. Me. Gasser. <laughs> athlete. He is an athlete. 
He is professional in karate. Thank you. Uh, number three. My. My. Because we said Aser, so we have to say Geser. Opponent. Yes. Yes, My opponent. Yeah, your opponent. opponent. <laughs> Thank you, that's right. Aye, aye. Who breaks in here in the mic? Please stop Sally Dowings. Please. Be men. Can I answer number four? Number four. Can I answer? Number four. Yes, Bilal. Number four. Um, Hello. Uh, number four. Um, uh, anthropology. Anthropology. Thank you. That's right. Abd tell me the last one. Tip the balance. Uh, tip the balance. Uh. Tip the balance. Thank you very much. <clears throat> By this, uh, we finish our session for today. Number five. Number five, tip the balance. Yeah, tip, tip, the, tip, tip the balance. Tip the balance. Uh, we finish uh, our session for today. Thank you for your time. And see you uh, yeah, yeah. next Sunday. You make me what, Ahmed? You make me that, yes. What? Uh, yeah. Hi, hi. Uh, thank you and say uh, see you next Sunday at school, inshallah. Goodbye. Ciao, everyone. Peace. Peace.